Ladies and gentlemen, this could be over right now. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that shot? the craziest thing so him and LT were playing like a thousand bucks a hole or something I golf with him the dude's amazing golfer thought I'd give you a little bit of Trump golf and because you know what when you're in golf it's a mental game and Trump is good at playing the mental game and he is clutch okay he comes through in those moments when you need him most good day folks and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic I'm your host Neil Johnson so excited to share this report with you the inevitability of Trump's presidency is becoming obvious and apparent to everyone and even on nbc kirsten welker is just well watch this next clip and just watch her face as the numbers are explained to her let's just start with the bottom line when you ask folks hey if it's the general election and it's trump versus biden in our poll donald trump now leads joe biden by five points compare that to the last time we polled back in november trump was ahead then but it was only by two points and it's even more significant when you look at it this way. Over time, we have been testing for five years now, going back to 2019, a Biden-Trump matchup. Remember, 2019, 2020, Joe Biden led. He led big in every single one of our polls. For the first time in November, Donald Trump pulled ahead in our poll. And now at five points, this is the biggest lead NBC has ever had in 16 polls for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. And of course, undergirding all of this is this question of he is the incumbent, Joe Biden. We ask voters, what do you think of the job he's doing? And look at that, Kristen, 37 percent approve and now 60 percent disapprove. She looks like she's weaned on a pickle. And you know what's really interesting? If you look at those numbers on that polling data, NBC had always overestimated Biden's lead. Even if you believe that Biden was Mr. 81 million, they still overestimated his lead in all of their polling data back in 2020. And now, using, I'm sure, their same polling methodology, they've got Trump up plus five. Folks, this is fantastic news. That's on national popular vote. And some people say, well, that doesn't matter. Well, it does, because the fact is Joe Biden isn't going to be able to win these swing states. He's going to be pulling off like 10 point losses, which may translate into three point losses. I don't know what those numbers are, but I think you all get what I'm saying. But we need to get everybody we can out to vote for Donald Trump because this is the most crucial election of our lives. And this next clip is really going to kind of encapsulate that for you, because when we talk about Trump being clutch, when we talk about him coming through in the big moments, this is how he comes through on the world stage. Check this interview out. Before you go too far, would have never happened with me. I had Iran in check. Do you know, we hit them very hard for something that they did. And they had to hit back. They feel they have to do that. And I understand that. Do you know they called me to tell me we're going to hit a certain location, but we're not going to hit it. It's going to be outside of the perimeter. Who called you? Iran called me. Iran called me, called for me. And they let us know. And we had 16 missiles went off. I believe it was 16. Uh, six or seven failed in the when, air. When was this? This was prior to the attack on a fort that we had where they hit back. Do you remember when they sent 18 missiles or 16 missiles? Five failed. They let us know, don't move. We're going to have to hit you back. Psychologically, we have to do that because we hit them on something. You remember. They, okay. they sent 16 or 18 missiles, and we knew they weren't going to hit inside the fort. And the media was going, and now I reveal it, the media was going wild because they say it's strange. They're very accurate missiles. How come they all missed? Nobody was killed, if you remember. Yes, With all I of did. those missiles, nobody was killed. Now, they had to do it because they have people and they have to show strength. So they aimed the missiles, but they said, please don't attack us. We're not going to hit you. That was respect. We had respect. What an amazing story to think that uh, Iran would call Trump's administration and say, hey, look, we're launching some missiles. We're not going to hit anything. Just don't shoot back at us. I mean, th they were afraid of him. I think they're afraid of Biden. Biden's sending them money. OK, and that polling data inside that poll that I'd shared earlier from NBC, the numbers were a lot worse. OK, at this point in 2020, Trump had a 46 percent approval rating. Right now, Biden's is down to 37 percent. The poll had Trump up by 19 percent with independents, 1 percent with Hispanics. He's up 22 percent on jobs, 35 percent on immigration and 21 percent on crime.
And you have to understand that there's a certain percentage of the population that's going to vote for Joe Biden no matter what. They're that brain dead. But and they're even trying to it's it's so bad that there are still these holdouts in Twitter that are trying to suppress Trump's numbers on his one post with his mugshot, as you can see here. It's been stuck at one point seven million likes on two hundred and fifty two million impressions. And you know that's gone up because people have tried to click it up. So they're trying to suppress the numbers there. And then you have Nikki Hol Haley. Holy <laughs> she's not holy. Holy. I don't know. Anyways, but uh, it has Nikki sharing this poll showing that she's actually doing worse than Trump by, by sharing this. She's trying to say she's beating Biden by more. It's absolutely wild, people. Trump is inevitable if the game is not rigged. But here's where it gets really wild because you need to see what's taking place amongst the black vote that the Democrats really need to win. I've got two killer clips on that, but really quickly want to mention my sponsor, Midas Gold Group, MidasGoldGroup.com or text Lumberjack to 232425. And you can receive free silver with a qualifying order. You can get gold there as well. These are some coins that I picked up from them. Uh, I'm a big believer in gold and silver, and that's who I use is Midas Gold Group. And you are talking to veteran owners, not commissioned salespeople. Go check it out. Get some real money. The Biden campaign is looking to shore up support with black voters, a block crucial to the president's re-election prospects. And South Carolina voters say they want to see more from the current president. We need a candidate who's going to stand up and stand up strong for us. Or we're voting for the couch. So you're considering staying home and not voting? Yes, and a lot of us are. Well, voting for the couch would be a vast improvement over Joe Biden because at least the couch wouldn't harm the country. The Republican Party under Trump has become a tremendous success. Are you going to be able to flip blue states like in New York and in New Jersey? There's a rumor you're going so. to do a rally in the South Bronx. I think so. Yeah, I think I will do that. And I, think do that? I think I'll do one maybe at Madison Square Garden, too. I think we have a chance. New York has changed a lot in the last two years. We have migrants all over the street. They're living on Madison Avenue. I mean, they... It's nobody can believe what's happened to New York. The people of New York are angry. Yeah, people, New York. Wait, Trump's got more to say, but I want to mention that rapper 50 Cent responded to New York's handling out of $53 million in prepaid credit cards to illegals saying, I'm stuck. Maybe Trump's the answer. It's so bad because of what Eric Adams has done there. Remember when the, all the schools were people were getting displaced out of schools, out of shelters and so on to make room for the migrants? And then now Eric Adams was saying how bad it was. And now all of a sudden he's come up with $53 million in prepaid credit cards. And all the citizens of New York are watching this crap show. And then they're seeing the cops get beat up on the streets by these illegal immigrants and flee. While Alvin Bragg says that there isn't enough evidence. And we've got them on video to actually prosecute them. The video was not enough evidence. People that would have never voted for me because I'm a Republican. I mean, they're Democrats. Their parents would never, they vote for Democrats. I think they're going to vote for me. So I think we're going to give New York a heavy shot. They're very unhappy in New York, what's happening. And they're unhappy with the crime. You take a look at the crime in New York, it's at record levels. The other thing is, and, and very importantly, New Jersey. I think New Jersey can be flipped. I think that Virginia can be flipped. I think that New Mexico can be flipped. And I think Minnesota can be flipped. And I'm not even sure that everything can be flipped. He thinks he can flip it all, even Minnesota. Minnesota is the only state in the nation that did not vote for Ronald Reagan in 1984. That's right. The largest electoral landslide victory in the history of our nation. And Minnesota couldn't even get it right then. So, I mean, if Trump thinks he can pull it off, I want him to. But New York, New Jersey, these are, I mean, going to the Bronx, these are the things that he needs to do is go to these big cities. I think he should go to Los Angeles even and go out there and do these big rallies in these large large metropolitan areas. And he's right up here in the Minnesota on the Iron Range. People started voting for Trump, people that have been voting Democrat their whole lives because he was so good for the American economy. And I'm looking forward to Trump's next term. But in the meantime, I'm picking up gold and silver from Midas Gold Group. So go check them out, MidasGoldGroup.com or call 480-360-3000. Let them know I sent you and you can get free silver with qualifying order. If you're new, please do subscribe. I love y'all. Peace out.